Within the green confines of concentration camps, a multitude of guards and staff members perpetuated immense suffering and pain upon the imprisoned. Some of the darkest corners of the Holocaust, orchestrated by the Nazis during World War II, bore witness to the presence of female guards whose barbarism and violence left an indelible mark on the survivors' memories. Jonah Berman one such woman faced the aftermath of her involvement in camps like Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen, ultimately meeting her fate during execution after the war. Borman found herself at the center of Belsen trials, where she stood alongside other notorious SS guards like Irma Grace and Joseph Kramer. Her mentality of crimes was extensive, marked by an unparalleled level of brutality that earned her infamy. In exploring the repugnant crimes of Joanna Berman, we delve into a disturbing chapter often overshadowed by the broader narrative of the Holocaust. Joanna Berman's affiliation with the Auxiliary SS commands shortly before the outbreak of World War II in 1938. When she was around 48 years old, her initial motivation for joining the SS was financial as she believed she could earn more within the regime than in civilian employment. Beginning her service in a kitchen, Borman's trajectory turned a dark turn when she entered Lichtenberg concentration camp in Saxony. This early camp opened by the SS in 1933 initially housed over 2,000 prisoners but eventually transformed into a women's prison before closing. The subsequent transfer of women prisoners to Ravensburg concentration camp marked Barman's transition to a camp renowned for brutalizing female guards. Ravensburg, a breeding ground for cultivating violent guards, witnessed the house of violent figures like Maria Mendel. Female guards, including Borman, were schooled in sadistic act of violence, learning to administer brutal beatings that would later characterize their actions. Borman, overseeing a work crew at Ravensburg, would carry this learned brutality into subsequent chapter of her dark journey. In March 1942, Borman's path led to the expanding Auschwitz in occupied Poland which would evolve into the largest killing site of the Holocaust. Despite her diminutive stature, she earned the monikers, the weasel and the woman with the dogs. Her canine companion was employed viciously on prisoner, a fact that surfaced during her trial. The testimonies reveal instances where Berman encouraged her dog to attack prisoners, leading to severe injuries and in some cases, fatalities. Witness recounter her wielding the dog as a tool of terror, causing harm that extended beyond physical wounds. Berman, unpolluting, admitted to bringing the dog to Auschwitz, lending it to other guards for hunting activities. As acquisition against Berman mounted, her violent tendencies without the dog also surfaced. She was notorious for striking prisoners, employing extreme force even for minor infraction. One chilling account involved her striking a sick woman who could not walk to the walk site, resulting in the woman's death after a vicious attack. Bormans present during selections a critical process determining life and death added another layer to her sinister legacy. She played a godlike role deciding the fate of prisoners entering Auschwitz. Her indifference to the well-being of prisoners extended to allegation of unequal treatment with pigs receiving better food than Jewish prisoners. Transferred multiple times as the war unfolded, Borman continued her reign of violence. Her journey included Saints at Buddy, a sub-camp near Auschwitz and a subsequent return to Ravensburg. Ultimately, she found herself at Belgen Belsen, serving under the infamous Joseph Kramer. Belsen, inundated with prisoners as the war neared its end, faced extreme strain on resources, leading to the dire condition 
malnutrition and widespread disease. Upon the liberation of Belsen by the British army in April 1945, Berman did not flee and but remained to assist in the grim task of burying the dead. The Belsen trial ensued and Berman along with SS personnel faced the consequence of her role in the mass murder and cruelty of the Holocaust. Sentenced to death, she met her fate on the gallow alongside fellow guards like Emma Grease and Elizabeth Wolkrenot. Johanna Berman's execution at the age of 52 was her once dedicated SS allegiance and in doctrine against Jews marked the culmination of dark journey. Her crimes at Auschwitz, bergen belsen and Ravensburg were numerous and barbaric. Contributing to the harrowing legacy of female guards who, despite their relatively older age, were equally capable of inflicting immense suffering. Today, the full extent of Joanna Barman's crime remains obscure, a treatment to the enduring challenge of unraveling the untold horrors of the Holocaust.